Good day everyone, Garage King here, and if you're thinking of buying a new SUV, this Lexus UX may be for you. It costs about 40,000 Canadian dollars, US, I'm sure it's uh, much cheaper. US people always get a great break on everything. Uh, for me, I'm not a Lexus salesman, I don't get any commission, nothing like that. I just was blessed to be able to drive this thing, have some fun with it. So I wanted, you know what, I wanted to do a little bit of review on it. And uh, you know what, so let's just get inside it. I'll show you the interior, we'll take a look around, and then I'll let you know what it actually was like to drive. Uh, I've driven the Tesla, my neighbor was nice enough to let me drive the Tesla, I threw the link up, that one was a, a whole lot of fun. Let's see how this one pans out. Okay, so first things first, let's open up the trunk and let's just take a look inside and see, you know, what, what it's like inside. So first things first, this is not your full size SUV, it's not as big as an MDX or anything like that. It is compact, it, this vehicle I believe is built on the RAV4 chassis, so it's actually not that big, but it's still okay, but listen, when you open up the back doors, you can see here, especially when you pull down the seats, you can see you have quite a bit of room here. So if you're taking lumber or anything like that, it's very, very easy just to pull the back seats down. And plus, if you have a baby in the car, it's very easy to uh, put a child seat in because the tether's like right there. So uh, there's nothing fancy going on there and it's not that hard to install a tether. The one thing I really did like was how they were able to hide this center seat belt. I always hate seat belts that pop up for some reason. So anyway, that one was hidden, so that was good. Lastly, I mean, who doesn't like USBs? You can never have enough of them. So let's check out the front seats. Okay, so here we have perforated front seats. It's because they're heated and cooled. And the thing I found that was kind of interesting for these front seats was this pattern. I really like this pattern and they actually felt really good quality. I think they will hold up to spills and oh, stuff no. like that. I just, I think they're gonna hold up well. The other thing is this little mouse pad and that, which I'll talk about later, was really good. So let's pop inside uh, the driver's side. There you can see typical mirror window adjustments. You got a nice front speaker there. The sound system did sound okay. Slip in here and you know what? We have actually a touch pad. You can touch it. So just like a computer touch pad with your menu. So this part is pretty neat and I'll turn it on. So here's our power button right there. So all we have to do is put our foot on the brake and then push this button. So when I'm pushing the radio button here on the side, you can see there we have our radio station uh, right there. We're just gonna zoom in here. I push the button on the side. The infotainment system is really, really easy to use. There's all of our apps. I can hit the home button. There's our audio. There we go, there's our radio. Now I can use this to tune or I can hold down the media button and we can just check different media. There you go, you can see I'm scrolling through things. So quite easy to use. Radio button on the side there. This was kind of different with the Lexus. I really liked it and I really like the touchpad uh, where you can actually just, uh, just go through everything. It's actually really easy to go through everything. I really liked it. Go back to the home menu. So I found it very easy to use. I really like this touch touch thing here. Remind me of like using a computer, very, very easy to use. The menu, you always had the go back button, which made it really easy in case you made a mistake. It was very easy to go back. And I liked this, uh, this plastic thing. At first it took a little bit of getting used to, but I did like this. Uh, you have a brake hold, uh, EV mode. We got our uh, heated mirrors. Uh, we can turn that back off, recirculation, all of our stuff, very easy to do. I, I really like the way it's laid out. Okay, so I'm just gonna speed this up because you know what, originally I went in way too much depth for this and you know what, all I basically wanna say is the buttons are really well laid out for your heated seats, your cooled seats, and your heated steering wheel. Here's a plug just for some power, which is kinda nice. Now, if we pan over here to the gauges, I'm just gonna close the door, door's open. You can see here's our gauges. Now, I'm gonna use these buttons right here and I can adjust on the side, which is really, really neat. And I can go through and have a bunch of uh, different menus. So here I have my fuel. There you go, there's my range. My energy monitor, which is the same energy monitor as right there. So it just duplicates it. And there's our tire pressure. So that's pretty cool. But we have our energy monitor there, so we don't need it on the other side. Now I can go onto here and then just push the button down to click it. And there we have a different uh, view of everything. And you got the nice Lexus clock here. I really like that. I really like the clock. And for the gauges, you have on the side here a control here and you have a control here. 
So the control here is just for normal sport mode and you can turn it and I'll turn it here. And there you go, there you can see RPM. It's just a different display. Uh, there's economy and you can see there's a little economy down there. And then if I push it in here, it'll change it again. There's a regular and then I can put it back to economy or sport. So how does it drive? It actually drives really nice, everyone. First time driving a hybrid and I really enjoyed it. The transition from electric to the engine is seamless. I'm just gonna turn on a little bit of uh, air conditioning here because it is quite warm today. So I'm gonna adjust my air here. I don't want it blowing too much or you're never gonna be able to hear me. So there you can see I have the fan on number three. Maybe I'll put it on number two. And now we're just gonna take it for a little ride up the road. And overall, I must say I really enjoy this vehicle. I've driven an electric car, I've driven the Tesla, I'll put in the link for that. The Tesla was really good. So this Lexus UX is the first hybrid I've ever driven. I've driven an electrical car, so I've had, uh, you know, the Tesla. I've, well, not had it to own it, but my neighbor was nice enough to let me do a little review on that one. I'll throw up the link. And the Tesla was a different driving experience. And then obviously I've driven gas power cars like pretty much everybody else. So a gas power car is what it is. Uh, but the hybrid is, it's, it is, it's a combination of the two, and I, I really like it. The one thing I was concerned about was how seamless the engine to the battery performance would be, and how easily it would switch, and if it'd be that noticeable. And it's not very noticeable, and you can definitely tell when you gun it, like I'll gun it there. So there, it has a little bit of acceleration. This thing isn't gonna win any races by any stretch. It's not as fast as a Tesla, but it is really good on gas and it is what it is it's a hybrid vehicle it drives really really nice it's definitely in the luxury class it is a lexus it does have blind spot monitoring for both mirrors if you get too close it will tell you uh, to brake the other thing it does have is radar cruise control which is kind of interesting the other thing i found when driving this thing was it actually changes the way you drive because you wanna constantly charge the battery or keep it in eco. So normally I have a little bit of a heavy foot at times, uh, but with this thing, once you get going in traffic, a lot of times you want it to stay in the eco mode or you want it to be charging uh, when you're slowing down. And as soon as you hit the brakes, it goes into the charging mode and you wanna keep it into the charging mode as long as you can. So when I hit the brakes, I slow down gradually to get the maximum charge. Okay, so let me show you what I mean. Let's just zoom in here. This is an actual picture of the dash, so actually, or a video of the dash. So you can see here, we're actually charging, we're slowing down. You can see it going from the wheel into the battery. Now, if I step on the gas just a little bit here, and I'm gonna accelerate, there you go. You can see we're just on battery power going to the wheel, and now I'm accelerating even more, and you can see the red means we're actually using the engine. So this is a really cool feature that Lexus puts on its vehicles, but you know what, you don't wanna stare at the dash too long or you're gonna wind up becoming in an, or getting into an accident, and you definitely don't want that to happen. But it is really cool, it lets you know how you're driving, and it lets you try to save fuel, which is good for the environment, I mean, it's good for everybody. So anyway, I just wanted to share my experience driving this Lexus Hybrid UX. I really enjoyed it. I was pleasantly surprised at actually how well it did drive. So anyway, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything like that, or you just have any questions in general, please leave them below. I answer all my questions. That's it for this week. Thanks very much. Garage King over and out.